Hello, this is our newest tester called AOSTO3. The package you see is for the TV pack. Comes with the five, um, 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 comes with four most common wire harness that you could test the TV from uh, up to 42 inches. And it comes, and also comes one AC adapter and four of the extension uh, MS321 EXD extension cables. Um, it's quite easy to use. This jumper, uh, the dip switch allow you to set uh, different low resolution up to uh, 1920 by 1220. But most common one for for TV is actually 1220 by 1080. It was listed on this side, the quick chart. But first, if you are not used to it, and then I would suggest that you get the screen number and look at our online a course table, and it will tell you all the settings, including this all the setting right here. And then um, after that, you just apply signal here and show power, power up, and can test the screen. And uh, next one, I'm going to show you how to test TV, the TV screen. screen. We're going to test. It's made by LG Philips. The screen part number is LC two six zero WX two SL zero one. So go to lcdpass.net and uh, go to uh, tester dash LCD screen, and you scroll down, go to LSTO three, and you try to find a cross reference table. Here we go. Um, if this is the first time you visit our site uh, for this table, um, please bookmark this, uh, this this pages so for the future use. Uh, this is LG Philips. Let me see. Yeah, the screen number is LC26. Oh, here we go. LC26 UOWX2 SL01. And this is a wire harness. Wire harness, we should use FIS 30S 1LVDS8. The resolution is 1366 by 768. The B plus will be 12 volt. Be careful, 12 volt. After you set the 12 volt, you switch to, to the 3.3 volt on the LSTO2, LSTO3 tester. The dip switch should be two on. Now we got all the parameters, and uh, we are ready to test this 26-inch screen. So here, a 26-inch screen, and actually this is using a Dell the screen. But let me show you uh, the setting first. The setting should be on. Uh, we just obtained it online. Should be uh, you know two on, and then this switch all the way here, 12 volts. Okay, 12 volts. So, um, cause you know this video, I just want to show you how to test TV screen. So I, uh, you know, I save time. I only uh, connect one of the wire harness. Just remove this chassis out and connect uh, this wire harness F FIS 30S dash one LVDS eight already on the screen. So just to save time to show you. So anyway, you already select the power box and you just light up with this. One more thing, the reason I left this chassis power supply here because in order to test the screen, we have to uh, fire up the inverters on this screen. So then we had to use its original chassis uh, intact. So that way we can fire up the backlight lamps. That's the only reason. All right, we're gonna connect a VGA cable to this side of the AOS DO3. See, connect to it. Make sure screw on, and then connect the power to TV first. Just be careful, don't get zapped, because we have to turn the TV on. <clears throat> now we're gonna connect a this thing to travel to a LCO suit. See red light comes on, you push it on, it's on. So make sure the TV is on. I'm going to turn it on TV. All right, here we go. See what we can see here. There we go. I'm not sure you see it now, but this is it. The screen looks good, pretty good. But let me try this one. If I may, just be careful. All right. So basically, it's quite easy to set it up, but you know, find a way how to, you know, to among this LCD first before you, because this is kind of dangerous. Don't touch this section. So this is good. Now we have just finished test the TV screen and uh, for 26 inch. But one thing I want to remind you, and is that uh, every time you finish te 
push test the child work screens you need to automatic switch to 3.3 volt just in case because if it's if this surprise on child work you try to test the 5 volt or 3.3 volt screens that you're gonna damage that screen so every time after you use a child work screen after you finish testing automatically just switch it back now this one we're gonna show you how to uh, also show you how to test a 8.5 inch LED screen which is using on some of the TV screens and this screen number is CLAA15WA04 it's made by uh, Changhua this is an LED screen so we had to use you know in uh, one of our LED kits called MS492 LED D dash kit because that kit comes with the LED driver and with five most common wire harness for LED between this LED driver to the LED screens here okay anyway according to the parameter that we have online we just and uh, there will be a, a two is on five volts so you make sure it's in the middle five volts that's it setting it's done and then it also tells us that we need to use this FIX dash 30s dash one LVDS six wire harness it's kind of long so you're gonna connect to um, here all right connect this to here wire duct face up so we have already set jumper two and five eight five volts supply and then next thing we need to connect this one end LED driver to the six pin this is for power supply to, uh, to power up the LED backlight lamp on this 18.5 inch screen and then connect it here all right the next thing we just need to uh, we're gonna freak it this way much easier if you see apply the VGA signal When you purchase this LED kit, you can just mount it like this here. So it's easy. But anyway, we just want to demonstrate how to test it right now. And then we're going to connect power box supply to LSTO3. And what we're going to do is again, we fire up the LSTO2, uh, LSTO3, see what happens. See that? All right. So you can use in uh, our other session how to test L LCD screen and to see all those tech pixels, stuff like that. All right. Thank you for watching.